Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to get on here really quickly and share our Arizona story with you all. Um, we actually ended up moving this month from there and it actually marked our two years of living there. So um, yeah, perfect timing, I guess, to talk about it. But um, I will be including like a little vlog on the end of this of us moving out of there. We visited Arizona for the very first time in 2018 um, and we fell in love. We stayed at the Andes Bungalows Resort and that's like located in Scottsdale. It's so pretty there. If you've never been, you should. Um, but yeah, anyways, we ended up coming back home and I kind of hinted that I wanted to move and he was like, okay, like maybe later on in the future, you know, who knows. So I was thinking like, okay, maybe when I'm like 50 years old, we'll probably end up moving. But um, anyway, like COVID hit and it was 2020 and I kind of brought it up again about moving to Arizona. And later on in March, he actually, um, it was like 2 a.m. And he was like, hey, are you serious about moving? Like, do you want to move? For sure, for sure. And I was like, yes. And so he's like, book our tickets. Let's go ahead and take a look at like, a job for him and a house for us to stay so I booked it um, in three days and we ended up leaving and we found a job for him and also we ended up finding a place for us to live there was only like a little bit of options because there's only one place that was allowing us to tour at that time and um, so like during like the whole entire start of COVID like everything was like turned over to like virtual tours and stuff like that so um thankfully there was one place that we really liked and they actually allowed us to tour it so we got it right away it was a penthouse in central like downtown phoenix area and um yeah so we booked everything and we just did like a super quick and spontaneous move um we basically packed up within like a week and a half um told our friends and family we're leaving and yeah, we got a moving truck and we left. Um, his friend actually came with us and he helped us move, which was super sweet. Like, always going to be grateful for that. Um, but I actually drove 20 hours by myself. I had a truck at that time, so I was driving that. And he was driving the moving truck with his friend. And then, like, after 20 hours, I was like, someone needs to drive. I had to, like, sleep finally. So... Um, yeah, I fell asleep and we got there after 24 hours of driving from Washington to Phoenix. Um, we arrived and yeah, we didn't have any family there and no friends. Um, we just met everyone like starting the first week. But yeah, it was definitely like a crazy experience. Um, it was the best thing that we've ever done in our entire life. Um, it definitely got us out of our comfort zone and got us to go do something different, which, um... Yeah, we're always going to be grateful for Arizona, and I have nothing bad to say about it. Like, the only bad thing is, is it does get really, really hot in the summer months. Like, you always have to have your AC on, and like, at nighttime, you can't even open up your window because it's like, still so hot outside. So, that's the only thing I would ever say, like, the bad. But everything else is all just good things. Six dollars a pound. Six dollars a pound. That is so unique though. That is really cool. Yeah. They have a lot of different ones. Yeah. I see the ones we want to go look at. Down there, they're smaller. Yeah. Yeah, there's some that are flowering. Well, I gotta find out what's the difference between those. Well, these are called beaver trails. Rose purple. Rose purple. I think they all turn purple. Because those ones look like they have bigger needles. Yeah. But these ones look like they grow maybe up more prickly pear species. 
Oh, yeah. You know? These are pretty big already, aren't they? Because I think they grow upwards. Yeah. But those ones are How similar. Doing hey. Well. How about you? You got a great hair. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> so these are the ones we wanted. Yeah. And that one, see how it grows up? It might be that one too. I need to ask. These are cool. I think these They're are the spineless big. things. Oh my goodness, babe. Look at this one. This is like a rose bloomer. Yeah, but look how fucking prickly that bitch is. Oh yeah, that's prickly. Look, that's even fall off. Yeah. Two totem pole at 15 and four prickly pair at 10. No, three prickly pair. All right, so you don't even have to bring it down. Okay. It's bring our cactus to the phone. I've been on phone. If it doesn't fall. Better like next to There you go. Better? Yeah, try and see. I'll tell you if it's going to fall down. <laughs> this is the slowest way to go home. <laughs> We still have our other thing in here. Yeah. We can actually put something in between, right? Yeah, which one? Probably the one that has the most flaps. Yeah, because this thing's gonna fall. Just definitely have to be careful. Two flaps, maybe? Can no, you fit that no, in? no, 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 no. Okay. So, so I'm gonna put these right next to each other. Yeah. I I know they said they don't have needles, but they do no, they have do. needles. They have little. She never said they don't. They said that these ones don't. She said all of them. Have but they're like super you think they're gonna fall over when we drive no. they're definitely gonna look prettier when they're at our new home but that's still really cute i'm thinking different pots and different texture huh yeah for sure but that looks really cute i think it'll look really good against the white um wall yeah. and the other fourth pretty palm tree, palm tree. yeah right <laughs> I love these though. I'm still shocked how this doesn't have needle on it. That's insane. Yeah, we got a moving truck. <laughs> Heading home now to pack everything in. Already? Huh? Huh? Like I connected it up back and I don't want to just put it. Cute little house. You excited, baby? Yes. yes. It's about time. It's about time. Can I see your vehicle? <laughs> I'm like, why is it? Oh no, what's going on? Is that your BMW? Yeah. <gasps> okay. The alarm going off? Yeah. Oh, because someone's taking it? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> what now? I don't know. Stop it here and let's I go look. Did you know this is my first time in a moving truck? Is it really? I think so. And these chairs are really uncomfortable. Yeah. They make me feel like, I don't know, my head hurts. Yeah, we're leaving and look at all these houses that are getting built. Oh yeah, I was going to tell you about what? the, like, that section. <laughs> what do you feel like? Good? You know, this brings back memories, except Bogdan's not with us this time, uh, oh yeah. <laughs> and the Jeep's not here. <laughs> so it's like almost nine o'clock, a bit later than when we wanted to leave, but we had to get some straps for the BMW because he was worried it's gonna like jump up and down. So we strapped it down more, and now, just about to leave. So crazy. I honestly feel so sick. I'm gonna probably fall asleep and sleep for a few hours.
just stopped in like some little town in Texas. like 10 a.m. now which is crazy but I have to walk to him because we don't want to like get stuck somewhere but I was really really wanted some Starbucks so yeah we're short on time it's like five something p.m. and they close at like six o'clock for the leasing so we're supposed to get the keys beforehand so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and probably try and drive faster so that way I can get there um, but yeah it's so pretty like the drive itself was terrible it was so long and like literally it felt like forever and we're so sleep deprived but